I'm now standing in rural Shanxi province, where one can find a magnificent ancient labyrinth known as the best preserved historical city in all of China. This is Pingyao Ancient City. Hi, I'm Noah and I make videos traveling around China and doing random travel challenges. And now it's time for me to spin the wheel to see what random challenge awaits me here in Pingyao. So here we go. Oh, until midnight, you must be always soaking wet from head to toe. It was already evening by the time I had gotten settled in my first day in Pingyao. So to make this a fair and entertaining challenge, why don't we just push it forward to the following day? And you know me, we're getting things started bright and early with some temple cleansing. Emphasis on the cleansing. So here I am folks, day two, completely drenched at Jungwo Temple. Pingyao is famously known for having three treasures, which are its most famous historical artifacts, and Jungwo Temple is one of them. Built in the year 963, this temple is overlooked by most tourists and has a much more quiet and peaceful atmosphere than you'll find in the ancient city. But this building right here behind me is reason enough to make a stop here. This is the Thousand Buddha Hall, and it was built without any nails, only by using wooden brackets, and it's one of the oldest wooden buildings in China. The second of Pingyao's treasures is Shuangling Temple. Art, chiefly painted clay sculptures, are no joke here in Pingyao, especially in Shuangling Temple. With 1,500 years of history and over 2,000 vibrant clay sculptures, this place is famously known as a treasure house of painted sculptures, as well as a museum of ancient statues. And the last of Pingyao's historical treasures is the ancient city wall, known as China's best preserved town city wall. It was built in 827 to keep out East Mongolian invaders. And despite its giant size, what stands out to me about this fortress is the intricate thought and detail that went into it. And along the tower, you can find 72 watchtowers and 3,000 parapets, said to resemble Confucius's 72 disciples and 3,000 students back in the day. But the most interesting little tidbit I can give you is that to the locals, Pingyao is known as tortoise city because its shape represents that of a turtle. The city walls are said to be the shell, the north gate is the turtle's head, and the south gate is its tail. What stands out about Pingyao is just how well maintained it is. But these walls just take the preservation and the ancient historical vibes to a whole new level. There you have Pingyao's three historical treasures. Can you guess which one of them is the main reason that Pingyao rose to fame in China? The answer is none of them, because the most important and famous historical attraction in Pingyao is a bank. Pingyao is known as the land of wealth and the birthplace of Chinese banking. During the Qing Dynasty, the Risheng Chang Bank, known as the first modern bank of China, transformed Pingyao into a thriving business center as well as the lifeblood of the nation's economy. And that was a huge deal. Keep in mind that around the year 1800 when this bank was formed, China had one of the most commercialized economies in the world with a population of over 300 million people, almost double the size of that of Europe. And at the time, the main currency here was coins, which was extremely inconvenient for traders to have to carry hunks of metal around with them everywhere they went. So, Risheng Chang Bank was revolutionary in that it instituted a system of paper bills which could be withdrawn and deposited around China and in branches around the world. The impact this bank had in Chinese history was huge. At its peak, Risheng Chang controlled almost half of China's economy. But my favorite part about it is that it's got an underground secret vault. Well, maybe not so secret. China is one of the safest countries in the world in terms of thievery. But back in the day, 
when Ping Yao got the money, it'd be the Wild West up in here. Many a man wanted to get a hold of those dollar dollar bills and would go to extreme lengths to get it. As a result, Rishong Chang Bank was regularly robbed. To combat the thievery, <laughs> to combat the thievery, they had this place, North China's first armed escort agency. Here, merchants and traders could hire martial arts masters to protect them along their journey. And you know, we're talking thieves, robbers, the wild west of China. So you know, to work here, you had to be bad to the bone. The one thing I know for sure about China is that I will never know China. It's too old, too diverse, too deep. There's simply not enough time. That's one of my favorite quotes from Anthony Bourdain, a man I'd argue was the best travel show host of all time. And it sums up the way I feel about Pingyao. This is the most dense ancient town I visited in terms of sheer number of attractions. There's an unbelievable amount to see here in this one square mile ancient city. But hey, Pingyao ain't just eye candy. We're talking some of the most unique historical sites you can find anywhere. The first modern bank of China, ancient Kung Fu bodyguard shops, the best preserved town wall in this country, and the real life version of the Gringotts secret vault. You all be my guests and enjoy your summer vacation squeezing your way through the crowds of Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, Paris, Rome, and all be right here, soaking from head to toe in the middle of nowhere, Shanxi province, finding the time to uncover the best preserved ancient city in China. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. <laughs>